I've always been a UND fan, been coming up football hockey games since I was a little kid, so you know, I really, I really like this place from the start. We've always had a preference for local, and if there's always a good local player, I mean, you want to try to take care of your home area before you, you know, go to outlier states and things of that nature. A lot of people ask me if I played soccer, but I've never played soccer in my life. I was actually a quarterback growing up, and going into high school, I didn't really know where I was going to be playing at, and then ended up kicking JV, and then just kind of, kind of went with it, went to some camps, kept working at it and then ended up uh, getting the spot on varsity and then you know just continue from there. Brady came to camp as a 2B senior and did a really good job in camp and it was just one of those guys that impressed that you wanted to keep inviting back to game day. And then you know we just stayed in contact he would talk to me after pretty much all my games I came up to a bunch of game day visits and then I think it was actually the day after they won the Big Sky that year that I committed here. After you watch some of his high school film and you kind of filter it down, it was really nice that the best guy in the class that year was right in your backyard. So we presented an opportunity to him. It was an unpaid, go earn it opportunity. He jumped on it right away and we're sure happy that happened. Come on, Brady. Execute, execute, execute. Good, that's better. It is a big step up. It's a lot different than high school games, especially, you know, playing, playing against Washington last year in second game. That was a pretty cool experience, but uh, there were a lot of ups and downs, and there's a lot of things we uh, we learned throughout the year. It's the unfortunate thing, and, and nobody likes to hear it, and you know, especially when you have a young player. But they have to fail a little bit. There has to be some adversity for them to grow and really learn from experiences. And then the forgotten part of all of it is it's truly a team of three. I mean, if any one component's off, snap, hold, or protection, you know, the whole system's off. So it's 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 an all effort thing. Those guys are incredible. My, it's my second season here. We haven't had one kick blocked, and that, that's all because of the guys up front. They take a lot of pride in what they do, and it's, it's easier for me to know. You know, I know, I know Ross is going to get the snap back. I know Cade's going to get it down, and it, it's, just, it's just awesome that I have that group of guys there for me. This group is awesome. I mean, I've been with Brady and Ross for over a year now, and these guys are outgoing, friendly. Everyone has each other's backs, and everyone's just uh, willing to work hard and get better at their game. I do think I became more consistent, and that, that's because me, me, Cade, and Ross, we've been working together for a lot longer, and now, now it's just second nature. We're really comfortable with each other. We believe in each other. We trust each other, so you know, I think that helps a lot. I think Brady has been training for this since high school. I mean, he has a really good mindset and how to tune out everything else and making the pressure situation like a good thing. A lot of the you know, things that you know, the outside people don't see as much is him coming here you know, we start our specialist period in the spring and in the and also the fall at about 6 a.m. and they're the first guys on the field as soon as there's light outside they're out there punting, snapping and kicking and it's those invisible hours where he really had some growth from year one to year two to train himself to be a good player. It's good, 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 celebrate, celebrate, we got one, got one, celebrate, celebrate. It is really tough, I mean, I'd compare it kind of to to the game of golf. It, it's, a, it's a lot on yourself, a lot on your technique. Once, once you get to a certain point, you know, you can kick pretty well. It's, it's all about the mental game, how you approach it, what, what you're doing when you're taking away from the ball. And it's just something that you gotta kind of got to learn from and get used to. I'd say at least 80% of it is mental. Because if you can't get over the fact that you're kicking in front of a large stadium or it's, or it's a game winner, you're not going to make the kick in the first place. You're going to have times where you miss kicks. And just the way you handle it, how you can go about it, how you learn from it, and how you bounce back, I think is really important. Another week, another ranked opponent on the schedule for North Dakota, as today the University of North Dakota takes on the defending Big Sky champions, the 12th ranked Aggies from UC Davis. Toughest, most physical, going the hardest for 60 minutes. That's what it's all about today. Everybody doing it together. We really had a lot of respect for UC Davis and Coach Hawkins. They're really hard to prepare for as a football team. And you know, we prepared for a 60-minute game, and that's what we really had. I think we executed well. You know, from the first play, it was uh, get the ball out quick, block on the perimeter, play tough, hard-nosed football. All right, here we go. Another play action fake, wide open, Alex Cloyd! Touchdown, North Dakota! Play hard and stay on it, you guys good there? Really good first drive, good work. Here's second and goal now. Johannesson, the ball pops loose. Patrick Rooney hustling to dive on it. And I believe the senior center has it for I the touchdown. Touchdown. Yes. I'm really proud of our guys. We got off to a good start. And 
you know, went up a couple scores, and then when they scored, we were able to answer. Pressure coming. Ketteringham steps through it, finds Boltman. Touchdown, North Dakota. What a grab by Brock Boltman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Quick hitch this time. Mogg's got it. Makes one man miss. Garrett Mogg. Touchdown, North Dakota. Yeah! 28-14 our score after 30 minutes of football. Come on now, let's go. Keep it going. We expected them to make a run, and, and that's exactly what happened. You know, you, you don't want it to happen, but uh, they're a pretty good football team, and they just made some plays and got back in it. For me, their quarterback, he just, he was so good with the ball, and uh, he was able to sit in the pocket, make good reads, and just the way he sucked you away with his eyes was, uh, was really hard to deal with. You can see this offense, when it gets going, it's dangerous. We responded, we turned it over, and we made a big play to get a turnover ourselves. Fighting hot defense called into action once again. Here's Mayer on the rollout, takes a big shot. He's got a man deep, and that pass is picked off. C.J. Siegel. Interception right back for this Fighting Hawk defense. It felt good overall to get my first interception. And hopefully I'll get a couple more here too. Yeah. You got to give them some credit too. They made some plays. Jake Mayer to throw the fade. Touchdown, West Priest. Look at end zone, and they've got it. Vaughn has the two-point conversion. And for the first time today, you see Davis is in front. We just had a good feeling on the sideline that we could go out, get within field goal range, and, and give ourselves an opportunity to take the lead. 2.06 left on the clock. You just need a field goal to win this football game. I thought we made good decisions, took care of the ball, took what the defense was giving us. I knew when we got the ball back, two minutes left, I, I knew the offense was going was to give us a shot. Brady Leach from the right hash, a 46-yard attempt. I just tried to block everything out and just trust my mechanics, do what we do every day in practice, every, every morning when we're out here. Leach for the lead. It's got the distance, and it is good! Brady Leach with 57 seconds left, hits from 46. I've hit field goals that felt better, but uh, I looked up, saw I was on a decent track. Felt like forever watching that thing go through, and then you know emotions just took over after that. There's nothing like hitting a big kick in a pressure situation to give you confidence as you move forward in your career. That's all you guys up front. That was that's all you guys, guys up front. No, that's you. That's all you guys up front. Afterwards, just the excitement and you know the bond and you know, the private moment that we kind of all had together on the sideline with us group of four specialists and you know, all the things they've been through. It's just really good to to be on the right side of things, and it was awesome. North Dakota is going to improve to 3-2 on the season. They remain perfect at home. 38-36 to 36 the final. They get the better of the 12th-ranked Aggies in an incredible football game on homecoming today.